If you use an Android phone, chances are you're using Google Photos as your primary gallery app. But exporting data from Google Photos to somewhere else can be a little tricky. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candid.Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can export all of your Google Photos data to another account. So transferring your Google Photos from one account to another is actually a rather simple process thanks to Google Takeout. So just uh, open up your browser and search for Google Takeout. Click the first link that shows up. So I'm using an incognito window so you can see the whole process better. Let's log in with my email address. Right. So once you're logged into Google Takeout, this is your one-stop destination to export all of your Google account data. So this includes everything from access logs, alert, your Android device configurations, and every Google service that you use. Drive, Fed, Google account, chat, Google Meet, Maps, developers, everything. So what we're going to do is I'm first going to deselect all of these. So we have a total of 58 services that we can export data from. And I'm going to scroll all the way down until I find Google Photos. So once you've selected Google Photos, now you can choose what albums you want to export. Uh, as you can see, all of my current albums are selected, which means once I export, every single photo or video that's on my Google Photos account will be exported. I don't want that because that will take ages to do. So I'll deselect everything, come back and select this album, which has a few photos in it. Now. You can scroll down and then click the next step button. Now this is where you choose file type frequency of backups and destination. So let's say you want to set up a frequent backup. You're not exporting once, you would want to export over and over again. For that you get this option which says export every two months for one year. This will divide your export into six exports or you can just export everything once and import it wherever you want you also get to choose your file size so it can be .zip or .tgz and then the file size so if uh, the file size isn't the maximum file size just keep in mind that exports that are larger than the selected file size here will be divided into multiple files so if i was exporting my full google photos library i would go for 50 gb or something like that so that these uh, I get the least number of files uh, possible, but since I'm only exporting one album, I can select 2 GB or even 1 GB. That shouldn't make too much of a difference. And then finally, you have to select the destination. So you can either send download link via email to your uh, new Google account or whatever account that you're exporting this data to. You can add this to Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive or to Box, which is a secure cloud storage service. Uh, as a separate download which you can then download and export on a computer or add to another cloud service or another photo manager or anything of the sort so you can you have a bunch of options to choose from i'm just going to go ahead with send download link via email and then click on the create export button now depending on how fast your internet connection is and uh, how much uh, data you're exporting this process can take a while so as you can see uh, Google's giving me a warning here. It's creating a copy of my data from Google Photos. Uh, it can take a long time, possibly hours or days to complete, and you'll email receive an email when the export is done. So you can close this page for now. You can go back, go about your day, and when the export is complete, you'll receive the download link in your email, which you can then send to anyone else or to your new account if that's what you want to do. One final thing to keep in mind is that Google Takeout does not delete your data when exporting it. It only creates a copy. So if you're looking to remove data from the old account while transferring it to a new one, you're going to have to manually go back and delete everything. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.